Recently, I made a reaction to Finnish Supermarket Prisma and on that video, someone asked me to check out another Finnish supermarket. This is called K-Market. So again, I've not heard of this supermarket before. Tell me if you've been there. Tell me if you go there regularly. How does it compare to Prisma? Let's watch this and find out. Okay, we found it. Basically, this is something that we don't have in Italy and especially they have it also in the northern country, like uh, Norway. Norway, Sweden, and Germany. In Germany, yeah. I think, is this the recycling bank? I know that this is very uh, common or popular in Germany as well. In Scotland, I believe the Scottish government are trying to implement this system as well. It's a, a recycling for machine for bottles, I think. Tell me, is this something that everybody uses in Finland? I know pretty much everybody uses it in Germany. Tell me, do you get money back for the bottles you recycle? Yeah, as I said, is it popular? So I don't know. She will show us how it works. So the first part says she is. So basically, it means that I have to put first. Ah, yeah, but anyway, we have some bottles here. Yeah. Yes, we have to insert first uh, the bottle uh -huh. here. In the hole. In the hole. Oh, 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 wait. To the other side, maybe. Mix, yes, it's all in a minute. Are they using it incorrectly? No, no, no. Oh, it works. It's wow. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you oh, use it? Did she things. just not know? And then so you get 40 cents for that? How much is the bottle? Yes. Wow. Then, oh, ho! Oh, ho! Oh, ho! It's printing already there. So tell me, that 40 cents, is that already incorporated in the price of the bottle when you buy whatever you're buying? So if you buy a bottle of juice, is that 40 cents already added into the price? So you're just getting back what you've already paid? Or is this just extra what you actually get for recycling? Receipt. receipt. Okay, but well, we're gonna go on. Yes, go. Look. Then maybe I should be faster. Yes, do it, do it. Whoop, go. It's actually very easy to use oh, if you put it in correct. Oh, oh. Where is it? Oh, oh. Yes. Here. I mean, she was yeah. just throwing that in. I don't think that's the best way to oh, use that. Witty. Witty means receipt. And here it is. And yeah, basically with those receipts, we can buy something or you can redeem the money. Yeah. So as everybody knows, I think knows, that's a good, mm -hmm. good service. Is, uh, consider us one of the most expensive countries uh, in the world. Yep. But actually today, today what we're going to do <laughs> with these receipts? <laughs> we're going to try to find and to buy something uh, for one euro and 30 or less. Yes, yeah. why not? <laughs> why not? What can you buy with one euro 30 in a Finnish uh, supermarket? Let's go and find it. Again, looks very nice inside, very well kept, as I mentioned on the previous video, compared to here in Malaysia. Things like this just look very inviting to go shopping. <laughs> As you can see here, a lot of fresh even produce. if it's spring, unbelievable, you can find summer fruits. Yes. Melon, melon. watermelon. But, of course, but, but in Italy, I don't know if this is possible. Chiara, ma che cucchia dici? In this part of the supermarket, you can find micro arteria. Sorry, micro arteria. Ah, micro arteria. Arteria. Oh, and taxi. Uh, <laughs> and basically here you can find uh, uh, ready food and of course micro is coming from microwave so they just put it in the microwave. Mm, microwave food so tell me if that's common I know that on the previous video and learning about Finnish food it seems very hearty and very healthy but even here microwavable food and ready meals they look good quality as well like in the UK these sort of meals have a quite bad reputation for being very processed and not very healthy, but here they actually look good. There looks like there's a huge variety of things. If I compare to Malaysia, you don't get any of this. This looks great, uh, especially if you've got like family and things. If you've got kids and you don't have that time to pre prepare large meals, you can get things like this that are very easy to cook. Tell me about the prices here. It looks like about, what, three euros, something like that. Uh, regarding prices, 
this one. Limonello. Limonello. Risotto. <laughs> and then, oh my god, they have this bolognese. I don't know. That you would say bolognese. bolognese. Pasta bolognese. Have you ever tried that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would try that. I actually think it looks. Oh my like god! Good. I think this is my part, my favorite part of the supermarket. Oh my god! Can we buy this, Chiara? Yeah. No. These are all pulas <laughs> and uh, mooncake. This is mooncake. They and look so good. This is pula. pula, pula. But as you can see, pula, pula. Yeah, pula. but we, this is not in our pula. budget. No. Then. Again, things like this are these made fresh in the supermarket on that day. They all look great. The prices, I don't know, maybe they're, they're a bit expensive. Easy. No, maybe they're cheap actually. Well, this is actually a lot cheaper. Affordable. Yeah. Yes, and we can take. Uh, oh, that's the one I seen on the previous one. video. That's the one I want to try. <laughs> oh my God, Kara oh just God, told me that this. Peruna is... Piraca is my favorite. Yeah, that looks Peruna so means good. Potato. Potato. But we're not Por in the budget. Per... Yeah, no. And this is another part that... Uh, it's called Piccadilly. Piccadilly. And you can basically... Not Piccadilly. No! <laughs> you can basically choose whatever you want and create your salad. Yeah. That's good. That's the one I've seen in Prisma as well. Is that, so I guess every supermarket has that sort of salad bar? Between 7 or 9, 10 euros. That's it. Oh my god, a lot of Whoa, cheese. So much good cheese. I love cheese, well. but here in Finland it's so expensive. It is. Five euros. Five euros. It's about yeah, the same price here in Malaysia because Malaysia here doesn't produce a lot of dairy products, so things like milk, cheese are like super expensive. So I guess maybe similar in Finland, but definitely here has a lot more variety. That looks like a lot of good cheese. I absolutely love cheese as well. It's all the type of cheese. Every cheese. Bro. We have also Italian products. Tini. Oh, then uh, Antica Corte. I don't know what is that. Yeah, never and, heard. Yeah. This thing, okay. But look at this. It's 5 euro 69. This pack yeah. of 250 grams. Yeah, this supermarket is huge, it isn't is. it? It is. Look, and they have everything. But now we are in the alcohol section. Here in Finland, in the supermarkets, you can usually find just mm -hmm. longkero, which is a kind of a traditional long drink. Yep. Uh, some beers and then uh, some other drinks. The maximum percentage of the alcohol that you can find in supermarkets is equal to 5.5%. Oh, only. quite low. Only. Okay, this is the longkero. The longkero that Chiara was selling us. Yeah, longkero is a mix between a gin and some other juice. Like the original one is gin and grape. This is the okay, so I seen this on a previous video. I didn't realize it was an alcoholic drink. It sounds good. Got some like fruity gin. Tell me if that's popular. Did, have you tried that before? What's your favorite flavor? Is it good? Price. It's two euro sixty. For a can. For a can. That's actually Which a reasonable you price. You can recycle. Yes! Get this your is money the panty. Oh, it shows you the money panty you means underwear. Very good. They have a lot of beer here. But I want to show you this. Do you guys remember this uh, beer from my sauna video? If not, go and check it. And this is uh, the Whoa. section that children here in Finland. Children? I would be there, man. So much Haribo, so much candy. That's my dream place. Like the most. <laughs> Because it's a candy wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. And here we have something. Tell me that a maybe piece. my friend Chiara and your friend Chiara. My. Anyway, you need to follow her on Instagram, and she has also a blog which I'm gonna put in the section down below. Please which go is ahead. called A Brunette in Finland. A Brunette in Finland. A Brunette in Finland. Yes. yes. So I'm gonna show you a speciality of. Uh, Finland. Salmiakki is a uh, licorice. You can find uh, many kinds of uh, mm -hmm. uh, shapes. Yeah. But anyways, we uh, love shapes. We love shapes. Yeah. <laughs> this anyways, is for you, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> I try salmiakki and I don't like it. But if you're here, try it. 
and tell me if you like it. I don't think you like it. This other one is rare <laughs> here with something I've seen on other other videos. It's Turkish. <laughs> anyway, this is not in our budget, Kiara, because we have how much we have? Just one thirty. So yes. No. So the people in Finland have a very sweet one? tooth as well. Yeah, Geisha, absolutely. Geisha is uh, from Finland, mm -hmm. and as you can see, the brand is Kaiser. That is the Kinder or Ferrero of Finland. Mm. Yes. And here What's your favorite Pfizer product? <laughs> means uh, it's. <laughs> so, yeah. Susu in Malay, in Malaysia means milk. We have as all well. these candies here, but to the other side, we have a lot of chocolates. Oh, Dumbo, one of my favorites. Sour Patsa, Kiara yeah. uh, told us. Sukla means. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Sukla. I don't think I've seen so much candy in any other country it's before. It's a section. To Europe. Ristorante. Pizza, salame, mozzarella, pesto. Mamma mia. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we found something that we could buy actually. These are just 50 cents. Sukla, so chocolate. And then, Mosti uh, Cavalco Sukla. I don't like Sukla. Uh, well, oh, but Mustika. Mustika. Ah, what is Mustika? Uh, blueberry. Yes, and then Balco Sukla. White chocolate. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so this is another section. And actually, here in Finland, they have very big and big, large um, 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 bag Do you mean of crisps. to say mega pussy? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is mega pussy because pussy, mega pussy. pussy means bag. Like shopping bags. Oh my god! <laughs> so then, also we have this Lindsay Pipsy. <laughs> Sorry, Lindsay Sipsy. So Lindsay is lentil. Yeah. And Sipsy is crisp. Mm, oh, Sipsy. Okay. Yes. And then we just find out this uh, choco mix. Choco mix. Chocolate crisps. So this is chocolate. It's like Kara guarda sono come fusilli. <laughs> How much are those? <laughs> Two zero nine. What? Not in the budget, so expensive. No. So, this this before, does look like another really good supermarket. In my blog, I'm talking about Finland and its culture, language, uh, and oh. so on, and my experience here overall. Yeah. So finally, we find what we are going to buy with one euro and thirty cents. So let's go pick a shit. Cos'è che hai detto, Chiara? <laughs> oh my god, guys, we made it! Do you want to see it? We bought just 1 euro and 30 cents. We bought this. Some ice cream. Ice cream. So we have to choose the beer like the Sottomarche, Coop, the Sottomarche, the Selunga. And why do you take this? And then this kind of uh, liquorice bar. Yeah. We're gonna give it a try. Yep. K-Market, really cool man. Another really nice supermarket. A lot of great products. The prices... Yeah, I guess for some things it seems cheap, for some things it seems expensive. I don't know how does K-Market compare to Prisma for prices. Where would you go more commonly? Would you go to both and just buy things that are cheaper? Or do you go to one more than the other? Uh, so tell me what you think about this. Tell me more about more other supermarkets in Finland as well. Maybe I'll check them out as well. Uh, it's quite interesting for me to see around these ones. So yeah, thanks for watching.